All right, we have a 50 series valve. <sighs> it is not working at all for him. Uh, the valves are pretty basic, so there'll be poppets. When we open this up, there'll be poppets. You got a pressure and a return, and a return and a pressure. So on your lever, when you move your lever, it'll pop open the pressure and the return, but it will open the return before the pressure. Um, and then this cavity is where the return comes. This cavity is where the pressure goes. So when you push the lever one way, it will put pressure to this coupler and return to this coupler. And then when you move it the other way, then it brings the pressure to here and return to here. So pretty simple little valve, um, but we can use air to see. That was pressure is leaking bad and the return is leaking bad. Come to the other side. Pressure has a little leak and return has a little leak. And it still has good neutral. So on any of these John Deere SUVs, you should have a little bit of neutral back here before you feel it touch the poppet valves. So you just pop the four bolts loose, your selector for your slow and for your flow rate. Sometimes they'll get a little rusty around here. Um, so you sometimes got to give it a little persuasion. But we lift him off. That's the inside of the cover. Nothing overly exciting there. You can see we got blown out rubber right here on our detent. So you got these little poppets. And this one's stuck down a little bit. Sometimes they'll spring out on a guy and shoot across the shop. This is kind of, there we go. Them look good. Turn springs. So the valve, the valve itself, we're inspecting. You got this little roller. It's hard for the camera to zoom, but you want to. Make sure that that roller is in good shape, not chewed up. And on the seat, I don't know how I can get a good focus, but that seat you want it, um, you can see kind of that black line. You're looking for the tiniest, tiniest of nicks around that black line. Um, Cause that's what seats in the housing. And if there's any contamination, any little nick, then, then that's where you're going to get your leakage from. And all these are pretty chewed up. I wish it would focus, but I mean, you're looking for a needle point damage here, a pin, pin prick kind of damage. And these are beat up. <laughs> They're, they're beat up pretty good. So we'll get that O-ring. That all comes in a kit. They, they, they do pretty good. Deer does pretty good on the kits for making sure you got everything. See that chunk fell out? Don't know where that, where that came from, but... That's uh, that's not good. Whatever that was, 
That is not good. That could be a little something from the transmission pump or it could be casting from inside this pump. If you uh, rebuild these and you put in all new valves and, and touch up the seats and you do everything right and it still leaks on you, then, uh, oh yeah, these valves are shot. They're just, I, I wish the camera would focus. You can kind of see that little silver blur. That, that just beat the crap. So something, something's floating around in this thing. Um, we've had these housings crack. So you rebuild it. You think everything is perfect and it's still leaked. And the housing itself has a hairline fracture in the casting. Um, but that hole there, you can kind of see that little flake at the bottom to our bottom right. A little flake just floating there. I don't know where that metal is coming from. Makes me makes me curious. Cause that's a pretty big that's a pretty big flake of something. seats you can see the seat right there they make stones that you can touch that seat up but you don't want to go to town you don't put it in a cordless drill and just grind away and also this is the side that had the pressure just blasting out and you can see that that seat I'm trying to get you guys light that seat is just pounded to crap in there um, I don't know this housing might not be rebuildable this might be a short short video but we'll touch it with the stone and see what what happens I guess so on the back side you just take these rubber covers off they're just a kind of to replace a lock nut they're just a rubber there to hold the screw pull them two off and you can see where the roll pin goes through the lever pop that roll pin out and uh, then you'll see the cams here now on the older series you'd have a plug on this side just like you have a plug on this side and there would be a screwdriver that you could you would loosen them cams in for setting but on the 50 series you don't they they're they're a floating you can see the cam how I just moved that around so they're floating so here's the the block as it come out you can see by my pinky them notches them are the detent there's your detent roller you give that a good inspection make sure that wheel rolls nice feels nice looks nice leave him out and that is your that's this fun valve here detent right here that they got a stupid little internal snap ring a little piece of wire snap ring so you got to take a screwdriver push that down and get that little piece of wire out it's kind of a fun little wrestling match a lot of times the adjuster gets froze into this housing as well. Um, but at least with this cover off, most people, the handle's already broke, like you can see. So you just grab it with a pair of ice grips and try and get it out of there. It actually came out pretty easy. You can see the, the spline, the taper. So when it's slow, it's just going through this little corner. And as you turn it fast, it opens up. Pretty simple. Pretty simple little thing. I do not try to save that little sucker. <sighs> what I do is I take um, a sturdy little awl in one hand and a, a little screwdriver in the other hand. And with the screwdriver, I just push it down. 
and hold the detent down against the spring. And then with the awl, I just get behind that sucker and just push, push, push until it pops out of that groove. And now your awl is holding it down and then get the screwdriver behind and with the two of them kind of just pry and bend and pick it out of there. No big deal. Whatever your imagination gets to. So then the detent assembly comes out. The top can fall off and the spring can be loose. You got the spring loaded side. And so that's that. So there ain't a whole lot to it, you know, at this point you got a pretty hollow hollow piece of casting other than the couplers themselves. Um, so for sure we need four four new valves. Um, but we'll touch this with the stones and see what it uh, what it actually looks like after the stones touch it. So we got the two stones and with the stones you want to make sure that they're in good shape. You don't want to grab a stone that's all warped out here. You want a nice shape. Um, this is a service tool from John Deere. You're not just going to find these on Amazon. Maybe nowadays, <laughs> I take that back. Maybe nowadays you could find these on Amazon. Um, if you feel that your your valve needs a, a hone job, you maybe be better off just to take it in a deer and have them do it. Um, but you want to make, you got a coarse and a fine. They are spring loaded on the end. You can see how it's trailed. It's a stiff, it's a stiff bugger spring to move. And you're not going to push down. We literally just just touch it, check it, touch it, check it. So we, I'll use the drill for demo. Otherwise, we just use a speed wrench. But yeah, get some, give it a good rinse. Put the, the stone in. Turn your light out of the way. And you literally just... A half a dozen turns. I know it's hard for you guys to see on camera, but it it don't look too terrible. There's some little tiny bumps in there. So we'll Shining up, shining up pretty nice. I'll do it one more time. I got my flashlight in the way. Looking, it's looking really, really good actually. That one cleaned up. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. So we'll just do that a bunch more times. Then we just take the the other stone and give it a good everything, a good cleaning, and hit it with that a couple times. And I'll hit all four things, and we'll see if all four seats clean up. You also notice that the finished stone has a lot softer spring rate because you're not trying to drive. I mean, you're working with casting, 
Casting cuts like butter. I mean, it's nothing to move a few thousands through casting with a stone. Um, I'm not seeing any major nicks. They look like they're polished up okay. This one could use a little more. There's a little tiny nick on the left hand side, kind of towards the flashlight. Yeah, so they cleaned up nice. Now we just gotta order in four of these spool valves and hope that, uh, that the housing is good. But we'll get them ordered. When them come in, we'll uh, get the valve together. But part one of just a simple disassemble, clean up and inspect, we're good to go. Um, one thing I do is I leave the roll pin to uh, always help me know the bottom side because these cams aren't the same from side to side. Everything is side specific and direction specific. So make very close attention to that. Um, but yeah, so we'll, we'll, uh, we'll put her together in the next video. Guys, there's a 50 series valve body itself getting broke down. We'll do the, the barrels, um, or maybe maybe we'll make a part three. Ooh, the excitement and anticipation. I can feel it already. Um, but yeah, that's the teardown of it. And uh, we'll get parts ordered and go from there.